Cincinnati Bengals. We'll get you ready for that. Uh, welcome back in, everybody. Greg Roberts live along with the coach, Randy Lefwich. I'm Greg. So I've been grinding away all day trying to see if I can, I don't know, just get some insights, get a little bit ahead of the game as to what the heck is going on. Because there's been reporting out there, and it's been, it's been, it's been out there pretty much all week that, hey, you know, in response to the SEC going and getting Texas and Oklahoma and the SEC looking out for the SEC and the SEC making sure they're going to keep lining their pockets full of money. Money, the ACC and the and the uh, Pac-12 and the Big Ten, they've been talking. Interesting. And the ACC and the Pac-12 and the Big Ten, they are they're they're going to form an alliance. An alliance. Whoa. What, what do you mean by that? What do you what, what do you? Okay. And so I'm looking at the reporting all day, and all they keep saying is, "Hey, next week, next week, you can expect some type of an announcement from the ACC and the Pac-12 and the Big Ten concerning uh, you know this alliance." Sure. I'm like, "Well, that's not good enough for me." Right. I'm not I'm not waiting around for next week. I'm gonna beat the bushes and see what I can come up with. Okay. Okay, that's what we do around here. Right. That's our job. Are you ready, Randy? Ready. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go over this slowly, okay? Okay. This is a full day of phone conversations from Texas to Florida to Greensboro, North Carolina. Okay. Okay. All right. Something is bubbling just below the college athletics surface. You got me? Something could be around the corner that would be a bit ground shifting. Now, the report came out this afternoon that the ACC, the Big Ten, and the Pac-12 are, quote, expected to make a formal announcement about their alignment. Here we go again. An alliance, an alignment. They're, these three are forming an alliance, okay? Expected to make a formal announcement about their alignment soon, perhaps as early as next week, end quote. All right, so that's been out there. Okay. okay, so obviously, what the heck does that mean? Nobody knows. Okay? Right. Just, hey, looks like we're going to get an announcement, some kind of an announcement from the ACC, the Pac-12, and the Big Ten. Back to the reporting. This news comes just one week after reports that the three were actively engaged in discussions about forming a scheduling alliance. While scheduling does appear to be a focal point of this alliance, it is not the only one. Academics, governance, and other broad-based issues are also cornerstones as the three leagues make their next step in response to the SEC's expansion and influence. However, exact details of this announcement are scarce, and that's where we come in. That's where you get out there and you do a little work. That's where you start, that's where you start calling your sources. Now, Randy, I want to say this. Um... The ACC, the Big Ten, and the Pac-12, they feel they have a lot in common. Right. All right? Where, where the SEC is really, really football-centric, and there's okay. nothing wrong with that. There's a lot of money to be made, you know, being a football-centric conference, okay? I'm with you. The ACC is about a lot of sports. Yes. Okay? So is the Big Ten, and so is the Pac-12. So if you ask the ACC, hey, you know, what, concerning your academic mission, uh, your vision for your student athletes, um, the various sports you offer at the scholarship level. Okay, who are you more? Who are you more common with? The Big Ten, the Pac-12, or the SEC? Well, the ACC is going to say we have more in common. Our mission is more similar to the Big Ten and the Pac-12 than it ever w is with the SEC. You got me. I'm with you. And I think all three of those. Conferences feel the same way. Okay. You know, hey, we're, we're about offering a lot of sports for our, our male and female athletes. We're about competing at a high level. Um, it's also important that our student athletes get their educations. We stress academics. Right. Okay. So if, 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 and if you, if you are like, hey, that kind of sets those three apart from the SEC, I think any fair person would say, okay, I could see that. Sure. I could, I could, I could see where there's, there's a difference between those three and the SEC. Right. I get it. All right, here's my, here's my thinking after some conversations. And, Randy, I want to put these out there. And then next week, I want to see if we nailed any or, or if we were completely wrong. Okay. All right, here we go. The Alliance, ACC, Big Ten, Pac-12. Number one, it is now clear with the recent maneuvering by the SEC, it is, quote, every man for himself. The SEC made it clear to anybody and everybody that the SEC is looking out for the SEC. And what does the SEC have? You know what the SEC has, football. So what is the SEC's leverage? And it's pretty good leverage, football. 
and you see the SEC using its leverage, its football, to its full advantage. Not only that, they're reeling in Oklahoma and Texas, and in the process, the SEC will remain the dominant football college conference, and they will become fabulously rich in the process. You got me, Randy? I'm with you. So, Randy, what is the main leverage? Let's look at the ACC and the Big Ten. If we're talking sports and the SEC's main leverage is football, well, what other revenue sport is out there? What is the What would you say would be whatever leverage is left for the ACC and the Big Ten? Basketball. Basketball. Right. Basketball, Randy. This is my opinion from conversations I've had all day. I think that these three leagues, the Atlantic Coast Conference, the Big Ten, and the Pac-12, are going to seize what they can. And what they can seize is going to be basketball. They will take the lead in what will be a breakaway from the NCAA as we know it and the NCAA's traditional basketball tournament. The Power Five conferences, and we've been saying this for a long, long time, eventually will tell the NCAA, see ya. Do we get step one in that direction coming up next week in this proposed alliance between the ACC, the Big Ten, and the Pac-12? The NCAA does not run the college football playoff. The NCAA has nothing to do with the college football playoff. And now, I anticipate the ACC and the Big Ten and the Pac-12 have already said, you don't have nothing to do with our football. Right. And now we're going to tap out on you as far as basketball is concerned. We will handle it ourselves just like we do with college football. The SEC is showing everybody it's all about the money, and we're going after the money just like the SEC, and we're going to look out for ourselves. Okay. Number three. So what these ACC, Big Ten, and Pac-12 are going to tell the NCAA next week, hey, NCAA, you can keep on rolling with your basketball tournament. Good luck to you. Hope you knock it out of the park. You got all those other conferences, your March Madness. You can keep on rolling with the Horizon and the Missouri Valley and the Ohio Valley and the Patriot, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Do your TV deal. Knock yourselves out. Have at it. But let me tell you who won't be participating in your NCAA basketball tournament. North Carolina, Duke, Michigan, Michigan State, Ohio State, Arizona, UCLA, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And what you won't have, you won't have teams that your TV partners will want, which means you won't have teams that will make your TV partners empty their bank accounts. We're going to handle that all on our own. We can do it in football, and now we're going to do it in basketball. Number four. So this is the beginning of the end of the NCAA as we have known it. And I've been telling you for some time this was coming. And I've been telling you, and it has been gaining momentum, that these Power 5 schools, these athletic departments, these athletic directors, these university presidents think the NCAA as an organization is worthless, useless, feckless, and just sucks money from the power schools takes it away from the earners and gives it to the non-earners as well as themselves. You got me, Randy? I'm with you. And the final straw, and I told you this a month ago, and I said circle this and remember this. Circle this and remember this. When the NCAA came up with no plan, no strategy, no oversight, no direction, no nothing for name, image, and likeness, for NCAA student athletes, when they pretty much stepped back, put their hands in the air, threw it back in the laps of the universities and said, <laughs> you guys figured this out. I told you then, they're done. They're done with the NCAA. They are done with the NCAA. So here are my predictions. Ready? Ready. Next week, next week will be the week we be sent, we, we see the um the death of the NCAA expedited as far as these power conferences are concerned. I'm sure it'll hang around and for, sure. divi- for you know, the, the whatever's left over after, right. after the power, a- after the, the major players exit for football and basketball. Okay. Okay. Prediction number one, we see 
the 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 start of the death march for the NCA. I mean, the true death march next week. Okay. Right. Number two, um, feel sorry for all the mid major Cinderella schools who made March Madness zany and fun and interesting. But what what the Power Five conferences are saying to you? You've been fun. You've been interesting, but you have not been necessary. And when it's all said and done, it's always a Power Five team cutting down the basketball nets, pretty much. Right. Number three, Notre Dame, uh, you might want to find a conference. You might want to find a conference, or you might not be pay, play, playing in the new big boy basketball tournament. You might be stuck in the old NCAA tournament. And then, Randy, of course, this is all about leverage. Okay. You know, the SEC is going to say, hey, man, we want in on your basketball tournament over there, ACC and, and, and Pac-12 and Big Ten. You know us, we're in the money, man. We don't want to be left split in the pie with these leftovers, with the horizon. We want to split that big pie with you. We want in, man. SEC, we want to play in your little basketball tournament. We want a piece of this TV contract you're going to carve out for your basketball tournament. Right. And the ACC and the Big Ten and the Pac-12 will say, yeah, we hear you, SEC. We hear you. And just like you want to make sure you're maximizing your basketball revenue, well, we want to do the exact same thing with our football revenue. Right. So let's all work together here. Let's all join hands. Let's all join hands and work together. Let's all get the NCAA out of our way and out of our pockets, and let's start negotiating these next rounds of TV contracts and, uh, and set up our new football playoffs do all of our business. It's our business. It's our money. Let's handle it. And let's start negotiating our new basketball tournament with all of our TV money. It's our basketball. It's our money. It's our business. And let's all live happily ever after. Right. Coach Randy, that's my opinion. Okay. That's my opinion on where we might be headed next week. Right. I could be wrong. Could be. Kind of down. There's a whole lot of work today. What'd okay. you do today? What?